Now to this story, we're following a body found in Braze Bayou, maybe an Oklahoma father who was here in Houston for his baby surgery before he went missing on Friday. Fox 26's Donnelly Keith joining us live along the bayou from the Martin Luther King Boulevard Bridge near Wheeler Avenue with the latest. Donnelly. Yeah, what an absolute heartbreaking tragedy for the family of Ridge Cole. The Coles came here to Houston to save their one year old son, and the baby's dad disappears and has possibly been found dead here in Braze Bayou. We don't have any reason to believe foul play. Just a tragic, tragic accident. Volunteers with Texas EquiSearch have been looking for 28 year old Ridge Cole since he went missing from Ronald McDonald House on Holcomb Friday night. We found video footage of him leaving Ronald McDonald's house. And he was known to go and sit on the bio behind it. It's very picturesque down there. It's a, it's a park all up and down Bray's bio in the medical center. Cole is in Houston from Oklahoma for his 13 month old son to have a liver transplant, as Mrs. Cole points out here on her Facebook page. Mr. Cole is believed to have slipped into the water after going out to smoke. EquiSearch found several items that belonged to him along the rain soaked bank of Bray's Bayou. His cell phone, his satchel, his cigarettes and his lighter, and, and we found a shoe. We found a shoe down the far down, farther down the bank, one shoe. Mark Edwards with Texas EquiSearch says Cole's mom is devastated, but wants Houston police and the entire community to know how grateful their family is for all of the support. Ridge's mom was so worried that she was going to go home without her baby. And having a hand in making her not live that nightmare is what keeps every EquiSearch volunteer coming back. Texas EquiSearch found the body here in Braze Bayou just before noon. And although I'm told the clothing appears to match what Ridge Cole was last seen wearing, investigators have not confirmed that the body found in the bayou is that of the missing Oklahoma father. Reporting live, I'm Donnelly Keith, Fox 26 News.